I'm not getting out of the car to open your door or to meet you at the door or to ring your doorbell when you could just walk downstairs. I'm gonna be on Rico with that. It's too much damn work. I don't, I don't agree with it being too much work because you already put in the work. Uh, this is called red flags. He'd already told on himself, him and Oliver. I didn't tell myself Listen, I told him. Listen, let's keep it a hundo. Listen, I don't want my, my daughters to be dating a guy that's in the mold that Rico's at, at this point in time in his life. You gotta come to the door. Listen, and I'm, I'm viewing it. You know, we, I know text messages and the phones, got it. Joker's just um, texting shorties. I am outside and expecting her to come outside and stuff like that. But on the first date, Bro, if she give you that address, ring that doorbell. What? No, ring the doorbell. Listen, I'm a, I'm gonna teach my daughters just a, exactly this. If she gave the guy the address, now if you didn't, if you about to meet up with him, that's different. But if she gave the guy the address and he just texting you, you know, he just texting you to come outside. You 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 don't even say, uh, and I'm I'm gonna be I'm this is what I'm gonna teach him. You can say that I'm wrong. You, doesn't matter. I'm gonna teach my daughters. Don't. He already started off wrong. You. No, I'm sorry. I'm good. She. He already crossed the line. What do you mean? You. You ring that doorbell, and for her to come outside. All this texting. Yeah, I'm outside the whole nine yards. Nah. He got to show some goddamn chivalry. Something that that ha that has to happen. That sounds poetic. For real. And that sounds. And I know that I understand that you're speaking in the sense that you have a daughter, so you want your daughter to be treated a certain way. And I. 100% agree with you. However, I am not opening your door. You're getting four letters, H-E-R-E. -E. That means I'm here. That means come outside. And that means when we go, like whatever our plans are, we're gonna go do what our plans were set to do. I'm not getting out of the car to open your door or to meet you at the door or to ring your doorbell when you could just walk downstairs. Honestly, I know a lot of people don't wanna hear this, but I personally believe, and this is just my personal perception of me and my friends and all the females that we have dealt with collectively, chivalry is almost dead. It's on its, it's, on its last leg. So maybe I might hold the door open for you, yeah. But I'm not getting out of my car to ring your doorbell to tell you to come downstairs to get back in the car. That actually doesn't even make sense. As a guy. I will admit, that doesn't stop you from getting a box when you don't do it. It's actually like the more disrespectful you are these days, the more that they give you the box easier, which is crazy to me. However, chivalry is not there when it comes to me. And I understand you saying this on the, on the last leg because I still act appropriately even when I, I probably give people more respect than what they actually asking for. So, or... No, they, everyone deserves it. Let's just be clear here. Everyone deserves respect. Let's just be clear. So at the end of the day, I don't, listen, tell my goddamn daughters, if he don't, if you gave him the address and he just hit you with the four letter words, and I don't want my daughter's date. Let's keep it on. Let's keep it on. Listen, let's keep it on. I'm talking with that mentality. Keep it on. Listen, let's keep it on. Listen, let's keep it on. Listen, I don't want my my daughters to be dating a guy that's in the mold that Rico's at at this point in time in his life. So at the end, of, listen. So I don't so, want them to listen, listen, <laughs> So at the listen. So at the end of the day, it goes to what I'm saying. Like, nah, you, you got to come to that door. Y'all, I'll give it to the. Gotta be right. real though, because it's so, not happening. Go ahead. Go ahead, Aaron. No, I just want to hear everybody else respond. All right, so I'm, just... I'm gonna be real quick then. Um, going to the door. <laughs> oh Jesus! I will not go to the door, but I will open the car door. Reason why I'm not gonna go to your door. I'm gonna be on Rico with that. It's too much damn work. Listen, I'm already picking the place to where we eating. I'm paying for it. I cleaned my car. I, w I put on my Sunday's best. I did all of that. I'm coming to from here to hell peck to pick you up. I'm texting you, H-E-R-E, -E, piggybacking off of what Rico said. I am here. I'm giving you the five minutes, 10 minutes ahead of time. That's courtesy. So I'm letting you know, but I will not ring your doorbell. Before I say your father, like a damn rock, and question me, hey, what are your intentions with my daughter? I don't know. This ain't the 1995. Bro, you should have had that talk with your daughter. You should have de-recon on me already. You don't need to ask me no questions. 
Because you know what? I'm going to probably lie to you anyway. So you better talk to your daughter anyway. So I will not be ringing the doorbell for Rod to show up and ask me a damn question and give me damn arm um, lecture. I'm texting you. I'm here, Sally. Let's go. I open your door. That's it. See, and the, <laughs> that's honestly, and that's on, and my that's honesty. No, yeah, that I was perfect. Like, completely agree. We here with it. Like, that's my expectation. I'd rather the text come outside. Okay, doors open. I'm a little indifferent with the situation. Oh I am. Honestly, I don't agree with Oliver saying that it's too much work to go up the stairs and ring the yeah. doorbell. That sounds no, no, ridiculous. No, 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 no. Don't try to switch now. No, I, you it's not you that it's agree. too much work, but I'm saying I wouldn't mind that here and then going out and yeah, then... Yeah, nobody would mind that. But, but no, what, I'm saying, you like, honestly, there's it. a certain... Okay, Even look. you agree with Oliver, you okay. don't. Thank you. Look, there's okay, a certain... Okay. It's not because it's too but much it work for him. Good. There's a certain, like, safety factor of, like, my door being nah. open with a man in front of me. Like That's too much. You gave me the address. Why did you give him the address? As I was saying... Was, the I door was, is open, but what happened? <laughs> As I was saying, I don't, I don't agree with it being too much work because you already put in the work. You said you picked out the, the restaurant, you got your Sunday's best, you cleaned your car. How much is it to walk up the stairs ding dong. and, and ring, the, ring the doorbell? I, I don't agree with that. It's not too much work. If you did all of that already, you could go ring the doorbell. But. What I do agree with is having being scolded by a parent. So see, in my situation, I still live with my parents. I feel like it depends on where you are in your life. I feel like if you are still young enough that you are living with your parents and do have the chance of like meeting their parents and being like, what's your intentions with my daughter? Then that's a no. As as a female, I don't even want that because my father is very inquisitive and he will question you the fuck down at the front door. As he and should. I, yeah, and I would not want that for any man that I'm dating. Why not? So, because I don't I don't want that. That's uncomfortable for me. That's uncomfortable for him. Like, who is that benefiting? No right. one. And no, Suppose it does. we don't work oh, out. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Suppose let me, we let don't me work just out. say this. Let me just say this. See, it's the lack of appreciation of the dad at this I'm point. I'm not dating you. I'm not talking to you right now. <laughs> I'm gonna get back to you because at the end of the day, first of all, for me meeting you is that I don't I know you're gonna you're a liar like the rest of these niggas that who met the fathers. So but, let her the do point, her. but the point is, it's the presence. That's what you're accounting for. And at the end, listen, at the end of the day, I'm reading you. You think that you younger. You think that you hit me with 52 fake outs. I've been in your shoes before, and I'm just letting you know anything happened to her, I need to know exactly who the hell you are. Second of all, let me just be clear here. It's a lack of appreciation of that. Your father is actually, he's the, your protector. And at the end of the day, he's there making sure he's weeding out the BS. Because at the end of the day, now you go on being all secret and not letting it. And that next thing you know, you get your behind whooped. Like I heard a lot of stories of, of women talking about this nigga was crazy first day and, and, and a wild out. And then next thing you know, you got to, he trying to, your father trying to get back and try to figure out, please, can there's I, many situations that can happen. Can I interject? Because I'm not. I don't have a lack of appreciation for my father. Shit, you talking just, about on that. No, no. I know my father has good intentions. It's just uncomfortable for me. I'd rather avoid all of that. Whoa. And it's and it's not like any of those things could not happen. I could still get my ass whipped because you think that the man at my door is going to tell my father he doesn't really have future intentions with me, that he he really just wants to fuck, or take me out and fuck, and, and that's it, that he's not going to take me out again? No, he's not going to tell my father that. He's going to tell my father whatever the fuck he wants to hear. You so any, I said of, that, any of the crazy things you're saying could happen can still happen, you whether right. my father spoke to this man or not. You're right, but the thing about it is, it's the ex you rather be overprotected than underprotected. We, I just said, I know you're going to lie. I was in your shoes before. Right. But it's the, can I, can I, can I just it's, say it's the, something for it's, you? Listen, listen, it's the... Go Let ahead. me just say something, bro. Go ahead. First and foremost, I'm going to give you this one cliche quote. Too much is just as bad as too little. So overprotective or underprotective, they're both bad. So like, so we got Aaron about to go on a date and I'm her pops, right? Like, what the moral of the story is, me doing anything and me saying anything changes nothing. My uh, listen, I'm being honest. I'm being honest, bro. Because at the end of the day, there's gonna be many 
dads right now or dads later on that is going to have a daughter and they need to understand that at the end of the day, if they approach a man nine times out of 10, that man that's taking their daughter out are, is still going to go and try to fulfill whatever purpose they have for your daughter. I, I'm right, but that's not the point. But, no, but that's the, not the point. The thing, the thing I, is the size of It is the size of the Y'all are on a tangent. Let's, okay. let's, let's, let's take it back to the original yeah, point. Yeah, so I'm not opening the door. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. So, and, and, and this may be a generational thing, an age thing, mm-hmm. but it's not. I feel like when you wake up in the morning and you in my house and we just sleep in the same bed, you greet me. It's called courtesy. I agree. It's called home training. It's called decency. So I feel like if you were trying to take me out, spend up my time, get to know me, pick me up, have me go somewhere with you, what is wrong with coming to my door to make sure that that you greet me and, and hey, how you doing? I'm, you know, nice to see you. I'm glad we can go out. It's Y and Z. And then we move around. And maybe it's a little different because it's in New York and parking spaces are few and <laughs> all this other stuff. But like, I, I live in, I mean, I live in the birds. I'm sorry, you're not gonna come up to my house and and, and talk about a, a here text. Who, who are you? But we've been yeah, talking but, all this time. But let me ask you this no, question. No, 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 wait, 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 I, no, this was the first okay. date. See, y'all, y'all ain't listening. This yeah. was a first date question. It could be the only date question. What if my I don't I don't have decency or courtesy for you that much. I don't care. Go. I don't really care mm. to listen. Hold on. I don't really. I I'm linking linking up with you. This is my first time. Guess what? I don't even know if I really like you. You gonna hit me with the here? I'm gonna hit you, you with the. You gonna get the the, the nothing. Where my camera you at? Tell me where, no, this is my you camera, Mo. You ever listen, rise wild. Listen, let me just say this. And see, ladies, let me give y'all some game. This is the reason why you need to. This is called red flags. He'd already told on himself, him and Oliver. I didn't tell myself. Listen, I told let him me myself. Finish. I, I let you talk. I told him I let you talk. It's disrespectful. <laughs> So if, how much more disrespectful can he be? If he don't even Thank even you. view, of, if he think it's too much for even ringing the doorbell, like it's insane to me. Like, how, yo, what shows you the real intentions? Don't never allow a man, I don't give a damn who he is, to disrespect you in that manner. Or and and, and at the end of the day, you you have to start you. That, that, you just the lack of risk. You gotta have some goddamn what? standards, bro. No, 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 Ringing a doorbell is disrespectful. Thank you. I shouldn't be speaking to anybody. Oh. I promise you this, because it's really not that big of a deal. Mm-hmm. And the overall picture, I personally feel as if, hey, guess what? This is a first date, right? And I don't really know you too much. So since I don't know you too much, you get less out of me. You work for what you get, right? So if you're my girl and now we've been dating and now we're on date 10, date 12, maybe I might get out my car and show some courtesy decency, chivalry for you. But nowadays, especially like, yo. You're not going to do that until no, day 10. Because you're going, your excuse is, no, I ain't no, doing it the no, first no, day. No, Why no, would no, I need no, to do no, it on no, day no, 10? No, you no, already no, gave me the box no, without no, me doing it. Listen, Men listen. don't do more after okay, they get the box, bro. Well, guess stop, what? Stop men, games, men, you know bro. what men do? Most of the time. You know what men do? Men do more when they still present. Because I'm here day 10, even after I got the box on day 3. Because the box was just good. No, the box was still there. Let's keep it real. You, do you really yo, want to keep it yo, real? No, you're not Most keeping it real. If the box wasn't good day three, you're not there day ten. Why you keep moving Unless the goalposts? The second... He's giving you answers. Why you keep moving the goalposts? Because he doesn't want to take... Look, peep game. Accountability. Peep, let me ask you this question. Let me ask you this question, right? Let me, I'm going to ask you a question. Let me ask you a question, right? Mm-hmm. If you've been on ten dates, ten dates, listen to what I'm saying, ten dates with the female, do you like her? Even after you got the box, you still went on five more dates with her? Do you like her? I mean, I've been on 10 dates before with it, and I didn't want to pursue a real relationship with them. But do you like her? I didn't ask that. She all right, yeah. Okay, cool. You like her. Because you know why? You're still there. You're still present. So if I don't care if I fuck on day one, two, three. Maybe she's been consistent. (laughs) You you got me here. I don't care about all the the logistics of it. You still got me here. That Uh means I'm going to give you more. So like I was saying before. That does not mean that, though. Like I was saying before, on day one, I'm not doing all this extra. Like like Oliver already said, you already put the work in to get her to come out the house. 
house. <laughs>